you, thank you. So, I don't know if everybody that's wanted to participate in this collaborative model has been able to. So, um, we still have some pieces and some <coughs> pencils. You're pointing, but I don't see where you're pointing. Oh, <laughs> they're right in front of me. Okay. And so, um, if you haven't been able to fill out one of these, just color in a little piece of black paper and it will complete the whole mandala. So we really need everyone's participation. So you could kind of come up to the front and some thank you. All right, who wants some? And some pencil. I don't, I'll take your pencil. And um, oh, we'll yeah. adhere it while I tell you about mandalas. Okay, thank you. So mandala is a Sanskrit word. It means circle. Um, we're sacred enclosure. There's a lot of different ways to translate mandala. The traditional form of mandalas really are originating from India, um, coming up with uh, the Vedas and Hinduism and then into Buddhism. But the circular form is really found throughout every culture because I think the circle itself is such a, a, a primal shape that even before humans were able to conceptualize spirituality or religion or anything, we were looking at the moon and we were looking at the sun and we were looking at flowers and we were looking at cactus and so many uh, natural things in the world that have these wonderful shapes and patterns. There's what I, what I think is that even the very first thing that you ever saw when you opened your eyes was your own mother's eyes looking back at you. So there's something about the circle that, that, that goes deep inside, kind of gets under the radar and feels good just to look at. So today, we were doing a collaborative mandala. This particular shape is called the flower of life. It's not a, a traditional mandala, however, it still qualifies. <laughs> And it in itself is a very sacred uh, uh, symbol that goes back uh, very, very far. You can Google it. So, and I won't, I won't spend time telling you about it, but this particular shape, this particular form is easy to make with just a compass. You just start, you draw a circle, you put your point somewhere on that circle, draw another circle, and pretty soon you've got this incredible design. Very easy. And why I like to do collaborative mandalas with this particular design is because it's such a wonderful visual uh, reminder of how we are all connected to everyone and to everything. The person that did this particular little piece right here is connected to this person who did this piece here. It's it's a representation of the whole, the oneness that we really all are. Which is why I encourage you, if you haven't filled in your piece, to please come in. There's a whole lot of blank spaces here. And you, your energy can be part of this collaborative piece. I love it when people come up to me and say, oh, I'm not an artist. I, can't, I don't know how to do this. And, and yet, what they, what they create is beautiful and each and every petal adds its own vibration, its own energy, its own kind of flavor to the whole. And it's beautiful when we all join together and add whatever it is that you personally have to add. So thank you so much. I don't know where this uh, model is gonna live. I hope it lives with you guys, Fran. Okay, all right. Thank you so much.